The girl I met, Primrose, she must have come from somewhere. What happened to her? There were these guests in black. A and a man. He called himself the President. Primrose. She can't be one of them. She's not your friend anymore, Satan. Whatever the guests did to her, they've changed her. The guests are our enemies. You bacon hairs have yet to learn that you're but a drop in the ocean. You will remember this day as the end of the Bacon Resistance. You have nowhere to run. Turn around and show yourself. Zayden? Hello, Primrose. It's been a while. You're one of them? The bacon terrorists? What happened to you, Zayden? What happened to me? What happened to you? The Republic has brainwashed you! How do you know about the Republic? Your people trapped us inside these walls hundreds of years ago to suppress us. Bacon hares live in poverty while your people prosper. The Republic built the curfew bots to slaughter innocent civilians and to stop anyone from speaking out. The Resistance isn't your enemy, the Republic is! No, that's not true! You're lying! Why would I lie to you? You were my best friend. Don't move, or I'll shoot! Sorry, sir. We were just messing around with her, sir. Now that you're 12 years of age, you 
are old enough to fight for the Republic. All of you will head to the gym immediately for your first training session. Xavier and Primrose, you will go first. Come on then, fight me. <laughs> oh, that's right. You can't fight because you're weak and pathetic. Just like a bacon hair. You don't deserve to be a guest, bacon lover. Washing. They made me believe you were the terrorists. I didn't know my father was going to kill your leader. I promise. It's okay. I believe you. I'm so lonely. You're the only friend I ever had. <laughs> I'll always be your friend, Primrose. Friends forever? Yeah. <laughs> friends forever. Yeah. <laughs> friends forever. Don't bother. The gun recognizes fingerprints. It won't work for your inferior species. I always knew you were a traitor, Primrose. From the day you started drawing pictures of bacon scum. You don't realize what a privileged life you lead being the president's daughter, and yet you threw it all away to be with dirt like him. Now you're finally getting what you deserve, and your bacon friend will take the blame for your murder. Primrose, you were unconscious for four weeks. I, I didn't think you'd wake up. You can't kill me that easily. <laughs> Primrose, friends forever. Friends forever. What happened? How did you save me? Guesty disguised himself as one of the curfew bots. Then, when you were on the verge of death, he rescued us and brought you to this hospital. But Primrose, there's something else you need to know. A video broadcasting across the entire city has been playing on repeat. While you've been unconscious, you need to see this. Greetings, people of Bacon City. I am the President of the Republic and Savior of Bacon City. I gifted you the curfew box many years ago, which have provided you with peace and protection. I put an end to the evil terrorist organization known as the Bacon Resistance. As I'm sure you are aware, times lately have been hard for you. Rising crimes, rising homelessness, rising poverty. The world we live in is becoming more dangerous day by day. 
And now, good people of Bacon City, I'm delighted to announce that I have a very special gift for you. At 1800 hours on the last day of the month, the North Gates will be open for the first time in decades. I will be there to greet you with advanced technology from the Republic itself. Technology to terminate suffering and poverty once and for all. This was three weeks ago. So this means he'll be here in four days. I know my father. He despises bacon hairs. This is the last thing he would ever do. It's no coincidence the Resistance was captured. He wants them out of the way for whatever he has planned in four days' time. We have to rescue them and bring them back to Bacon City before it's too late. I have a plan to rescue your friends, but we have to leave now. It will take us two days just to get there. Where are we going? To the Republic. Uh, can you just explain the plan one more time? You weren't listening, were you? No, uh, I was just asking for Guesty because he forgot. Ouch, what was that for? Liar. You deserved that. Yeah, I did. Guesty will head to the prison complex to free the resistance. Me and you will break into the president's office, find out what he's doing, and put a stop to his plans. There shouldn't be heavy security as my father will be heading to Bacon City. Whatever he's up to, it can't be good. Hey, are you okay? We have to keep going to get there on time. No, we've been walking for two days straight. And you were shot just one month ago. That's not weak. What's that? My father gave this to me as a present. Before he died. It's the only thing I have left of him. Do you think it's a coincidence he gave it to you before he passed away? I don't know. I never really considered it. More fire. Welcome back, Esty. Take a seat. Do you ever wonder how strange our friendship group is? A bacon hair, a guest, and a big blue robot? I don't know. I quite like the strangeness. Me too. Me three. I wouldn't want anything different. Zayden, look! We are here. Oh my. This... This is bigger than I expected. Welcome to the Republic. I've given you the location of the prison where the resistance is being held. You'll need to go in there and free them. Zayden, do you see that tall, orange building over there? Yeah. That's the President's Tower. Me and you need to go break into there and get to the top floor where my father's office is. When we get to the building, there'll be a few agents on guard. We need to take them out, climb the stairs, and get to the elevator, which will take us all the way up to the Presidential Office.
Got it? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Let's go. over here. That's all of the guards taken care of. There shouldn't be any more. So I'm guessing I can't use their fancy looking pistols? Their guns are used to stun people. It's fingerprint sensitive, so only guests can use them. Well, that's a bummer. Zayden, look out! There shouldn't be this many agents. Where do they all come from? They knew we were coming! You need to get to the lift, now! Not so fast, my friend. We can't have bacon sneaking around the Republic, can we now? With the President away, Bacon City, you and Primrose are all mine. Wakey, wakey. Don't want to miss the main show now, do we? I had a feeling we'd be meeting again, Bacon Hair. But Primrose, now she is a surprise. I am curious to know why the President's daughter is breaking into her father's tower. But to be honest, we have more important matters to attend to while he's away. It would be unfortunate if the President found out you're both still alive. So I have a bit of cleaning up to do. Let's start with you, Zayden. Are you watching closely, Primrose? You are next. The saddest truth about betrayal is that it never comes from your enemies. Xavier never could overcome his deceitful tongue. Now he's paid the full price. Good evening, Primrose. Good evening, Zayden. Why aren't you at Bacon City? Did you honestly think I'd willingly spend time in that slum? You're mistaken, my daughter. I have no intention of lifting Bacon City off its crutches, as I'm sure you figured out already. But where are my manners? Please, let me invite you upstairs to my office. Guesty! No! What did you do? 
you do to him? What did you do to him? We caught him outside the prison blocks. Here at the Republic, we pride ourselves with state-of-the-art machinery. Defective units are disassembled swiftly. He won't be troubling us anymore. And look at you, Primrose. I raised you to be better, to be stronger, and you repay me like this. It saddens me to see your mind corrupted. I was ignorant to think that after all these years, you would finally see some sense. Did you ever stop to wonder where the homeless are dragged to each night? Zayden, did your father ever tell you why he left the Resistance? How he was so riddled with guilt that he refused to fight for the Resistance ever again? It's because you killed my mother! Far from it. As your father came to realize, it was your very own people who killed your no. mother. No! You're lying! The curfew bots killed my mother! Your curfew bots! Exactly. The curfew bots killed your mother. The curfew bots? They... they can't be... they're... Correct. The curfew bots are bacon hairs. Isn't it ironic? You are the ones suppressing yourselves. And now with the resistance dismantled, Bacon City is free to be cleansed. You ventured all this way to find out what was going on. Well, now you can. Here is my gift for Bacon City.